Tim Dieppe's with us. He's Director of Islamic Affairs at UK Christian Organisation Christian Concern. Hi, Tim. Thanks for making the time to be Hi. with us. Um, some people have been suggesting that uh, what happened in this church in Paris, this forcible removal of the people inside today by these riot police, was, was a, a, a symbolic attack on Christianity. Uh, is that as you s see it? There, or was it simply just a private matter? This was a church that was apparently closed, although it didn't look it, and they had to evict these people, albeit heavy-handedly. What are your thoughts? Well, I think the um, imagery that you've just shown there is very, very powerful, isn't it? And um, it does seem like extraordinary use of force and unnecessary use of force to have riot police go in and um, be used to evict peaceful Christian worshippers um, inside and outside that church and and especially if they used gas or pepper spray and that sort of thing seems extraordinarily unnecessary and the imagery is so powerful of a priest um, being dragged along the floor as you say by um, police in riot gear as if he's a threat to their safety or a violent mm -hmm. person um, which of course he isn't because Christianity is a peaceful religion and mm -hmm. um, you know it comes just the day after the funeral of Father Hamill who's um, perhaps the first Christian martyr to Islam to be openly killed in his church in modern Europe and that's an extraordinary event that we're still sort of understanding and we know that many other Christians are martyred in many other countries around the world often at the hands of Muslims and here's the first one to be murdered in a church in in modern Europe it seems probably not the last and then the, the very next day riot police are used to evict a, a priest from another church um, which is slated for demolition and, and the symbolism is so powerful and it does seem like the state is doing um, exactly what those Islamists want to achieve, which is the destruction of the church, mm. at I mean, least symbolically. Ten tensions are high there, of course, right now, with, given those awful events that we've seen in Nice, etc. Um, you don't know what intel the police thought they may have had and what was going inside that church. The puzzle for me is the church we're hearing was closed, and yet there seemed to be a service going on inside. The priest was dressed as he normally would be. Is that normal, to have that kind of thing going on in a church that's supposed to be closed? Well, I don't know the details of that mm. as to whether, you know, to the extent to which it was closed or not. I know it was slated for demolition. I know that this is not the first church to be demolished or had its use changed in France. This has been going on for some years and there's been some considerable concern about it over time. In fact, only last year there was a petition in France um, against churches being turned into mosques. And it was a very high profile. Even former Prime Minister um, Nicolas Sarkozy signed that petition. Um, which shows the extent of concern which there is in France about the rate at which these churches are being destroyed and the fact that some of them are being converted into mosques as well. Going back to those pictures there, as you say, it was disturbing, uh, especially if you are religious, to see a, a priest being manhandled in that way, a man who, whether you're religious or not, you'd have thought would deserve some respect. It seems the police, according to witnesses, made a beeline for him, and it looks like, I don't know, I wasn't there, but from what the pictures we can see, forced the guy to the floor. Yes, I agree, and I think that's extraordinary. And in days gone by, people, um, religious priests, would be treated with immense respect and, and reverence and appropriate deference in, in that sort of way. And, and this seems to be symbolic of an abandonment and even a rebellion against the Christian heritage of the nation of France. And the, you know, the demolition of a church is, is like symbolic of them tearing up their Christian roots and moving into a, a very aggressively secular society, which is actually not the answer to aggressive Islam. Uh, yeah, Christianity for her has a much better foundation um, for that nation, and I think sadly they're moving much more to um, secularism in that nation. Tim, thanks for your thoughts. Got to leave it there. Tim Dieppe, Director of Islamic Affairs at UK Christian Organization, Christian Concern. Thank you.